good God? Is he a great Savior? Has he been walking with you? Has he been overshadowing your life? Give him praise this morning. Give him glory and honor in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. seated. Hallelujah. Did you notice anything new outside today? Got the new parking lot in, got it all striped. How many of you were able to see the stripes? That's good. That's good. I looked out and I took a survey. Some of you who, when the stripes were a little dim, you couldn't park in the middle of them and you couldn't today either. I I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I saw a couple people, and one of them was a board member, parked kind of cattywampus on it. I, I don't understand, but, but we're trying. And uh, so we're excited to have the new parking lot. Now we just need to fill it with people coming to study the Word of God and to praise Him and to have their lives revolutionized by the power of Jesus Christ. That's up to each one of us. Because I got news for you. You go out to a farm and you find out that shepherds don't make sheep. Sheep make sheep. Amen? Amen? That, that's the way it works. I, I'm, that's just the way it works. And so we need to go out and we need to bring people in and tell them about Jesus and his great love. We're happy to have you as a guest with us today. Mark's going to be walking up and down the aisle. 
And if you're a guest here at Trinity for the first time, we'd like for you to raise your hand. He has some information. A brand new DVD about the ministries of the church are available to you as well. So you slip up your hand and he'll serve that to you. And let's give a big welcome to all of our guests today here at Trinity. Welcome home. Praise God. We have a number of things coming up in the weeks to follow, and there's sign-ups in the lobby, the south lobby, for you to be a part of those things so we know how many to plan for. First of all, we want to remind you that we do have evening service tonight. We will be continuing our look at prayer. And uh, folks, this is our link up with a mighty God, and I encourage you to be with us this evening as we study the prayers of David. A person after God's own heart. We need to learn how to pray like he prayed because God says, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with this young man. And so we want to be studying that tonight. Uh, this coming week, the youth have a missions trip meeting on Tuesday evening. For those that are traveling on the youth missions trip to Myrtle Beach, they're going to be evangelizing on the beach and, and throughout the area. Uh, in the summer, and so you be sure and be a part of that. Also, our morning Bible study on Wednesday, our evening services for all ages on Wednesday evening are available. If you come just a little bit early, you can go to the cafe. The, the, that's, that, that's a great place to eat a, a quick meal. How many of you have visited the cafe? That's what I thought. Many of you have. Yes. Oh, 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 my. Oh, my. You've got one sold already. I, I just let you know that now. Have it warming for me. Praise God. There's a sign up for the men's breakfast out in the south lobby. We're going to be back again at the hometown buffet up uh, off of Broad Street and Broad Street and Wilson. So sign up for that so we know how many to prepare for. Uh, all kinds of graduation parties happen. And we had some people walked across the graduation uh, program yesterday. Uh, all of our graduates, if you're around, would you stand up so we can honor you once again? We've honored you before, but we want to somewhere up in the booth and over here. Praise God. Praise God. And now, and now, and now, we'd like, we'd like a round of applause for their parents who put up with them through this whole process. That's where the real credit goes, I'll tell you. You know, somebody had to get them up when they were angry in the morning and make them go to school. Praise God. Uh, lots of things coming up. We have the church yard sale. We do need items to be brought in as soon as possible so we can get them priced and ready. And that's coming up on Saturday, June 13th. And you can, uh, at a service time, come early to a service and bring things or uh, call us during the week and we'll get them hooked up for you in the, in the barn. It's an opportunity of raising funds for various projects of the women's ministries. Uh, last year, the women's ministries donated over $5,000 to the parking lot fund. And so uh, as we're talking about the parking lot, remember, thank you for those who have already given and those who are giving on a regular weekly or monthly basis. Uh, it's a huge debt, a huge uh, price tag ticket on this, but it was something that you all voted for at the last annual business meeting. And uh, the deacons, we've tried to... Uh, do what we could to make that happen. We found the best price, and it's a good job. It looks great. And we encourage you to, uh, to continue to support this miracle of the, of the parking lot fund. Lots of other things. We have sign-ups out there for the f uh, food distribution that's coming up uh, on June the 20th on Saturday. We're going to need some assistance, a lot of assistance, because we're going to be, because of the yard sale, and usually we don't get everything sold, and so we have to leave it up for a secondary sale. Uh, we're going to be doing the 
food distribution outside. So we need to set up a canopy and, and, and we'll need a lot of help to make that happen. Uh, so sign up and be there to assist us in this outreach to our community. Lots of other stuff going on in there in the bulletin you can read about. And what I'd like for you to do right now is to spend a little time and share some fellowship. We're going to have Mr. Music put on a song, if he would, please. We'll invite you to stand up, move out from where you're seated. And uh, if you can't find your way back to where you once were, we'll help you. But get up and go around fellowship, greet one another, share a handshake, a hug, or a high five, or a fist bump. Come on, sing it out. My 